week's edition of the SAU Coaches Show. I'm Jacob Pumphrey with MuraAthletics.com. I'm joined alongside the head volleyball coach, Coach Brittany Davis. And Coach, it's been a little bit since we've, we've mm -hmm. talked to you last. Uh, you've got four or five uh, matches under your belt. Kind of recap uh, those matches. Uh, a couple of them were conference matches against Harding and UAM. And then you also picked up a key win mm -hmm. earlier this week against Williams Baptist. Really showed uh, a complete game all around. Yeah. Uh, Talk a little bit about that Williams Baptist match and kind of uh, where you at so far in the season. Yeah, we were kind of having some lineup trouble and just putting people places, trying to figure it out. After Henderson's big win, we thought we had our lineup, and so we had to make some changes and um, had some hiccups with two conference games. At Williams Baptist, we came in and we just delivered. The girls played well. Um, they knew that if they uh, la played lax, they played down their level, but they didn't, um, and they just played solid volleyball. And our goal always is just to play high-level volleyball, and they really did that. Um, so that was really good for us to prepare for the next conference games, and we've got a lineup set that we really like. You talk about flip-flopping that lineup and kind of trying different things and, and seeing how you can, I guess, find what works mm -hmm. in the moment. Uh, but really, two players I can think of that have really kind of stand out and been really consistent, uh, Caitlin Rayner and Allie O'Banion. Talk mm -hmm. a little bit about what they've brought to the table so far this year and how their consistency has kind of kept things going for you Yeah, guys. Caitlin Rayner has just been, she's had a really good year. Um, from the very beginning, when we look back, she just she's kind of overlooked just because she she just does her job all the time. She's so consistent. As a middle hitter, you just go up and fake it all the time just to pull the block, but she's getting kills. Her hitting percentages are incredible every game, and we can always depend on Kate to put the ball down. And To have that in the middle is not very common, and to have that is awesome because it's hard to play middle defense. So the fact that Kate is delivering right now as a senior leader, um, she's naturally just a leader by example. And she's doing that. She's an exact example of what you need to do if you want to be a leader by example rather than just by your voice. So Kate's killing it. I'm so happy for her this year. Her senior year, she's definitely delivering for the team. And Allie O'Banion, mm -hmm. she, um, a junior, she's really having a good year as well. Yeah. Um, opposite hitter. Talk a little bit about her. Yeah, I can put her anywhere. She played middle for me for a little bit. But right now on the right side, she's connecting with our setter, and she's crushing the ball. And we're working on shots she's never done before. Um, shots that are going to raise her to a whole new level. And so she is, uh, we, we push her. Last night I was on the box hitting at her hands, telling her I was going to tool her, talking in her face, and she just looks at me and blocks me every time. And so she is just a strong athlete, and she leads the team by example as well. And to have two upperclassmen that are just delivering right now, uh, it's really helping us. It's helping the younger girls, the freshmen, play at a whole new level too, seeing the older girls do that. So it's good. You're just past the halfway point of the season. Yes. Uh, you've got about 17 games uh, under your belt. Um, and you really have to like the way the schedule uh, mm -hmm. shapes up down the stretch yeah. here. You've got 13 games <laughs> remaining. Uh, 11 of them are at home, mm -hmm. and 9 of them are conference games. Yeah. And so you really have a big opportunity this week to gain some ground in the, in the GAC. You welcome in uh, Northwestern Oklahoma mm -hmm. on Friday, 7 p.m. first serve, and then you turn around and play uh, Southwestern Oklahoma yeah. at 1 p.m. on Saturday. Talk a little bit about those two teams. They're they're probably not having the years that they want to have, yeah. and how it's really two big matchups this it's, weekend in Maggie. I feel like we all kind of have the same year. We're really not. Us three teams aren't doing what we thought we were going to do from the beginning, and so uh, we're all in the same boat. They're going to be fighting just as hard as we are because we've got all three of us have to deliver now um, for the rest of the season. So I'm really excited that the, it's home this weekend. So we didn't have to travel up to those schools, uh, but Northwestern, they're going to come in. They're going to give it their all, and we've had a really good week of practices, which uh, we got one more, and I told the girls these next two days of practice, they're everything because you got two conference games that are important back to back. So we've been playing hard. Northwestern is going to come in and they're going to hit hard. They're going to they're going to be scrappy on their defense, and so we have to keep swinging um, and make sure we don't get too tip crazy. Uh, Southwestern, that that's going to hit a spot with my girls because that's who we played last year against for the conference championship. So uh, they are so fired up for that game. They cannot wait to see Southwestern. So that game at one o'clock on Saturday, that's going to be one people need to come out and watch. But uh, it's we're excited the rest of these. I love all these home games. We had so many away at the beginning. We're never home. Uh, but now we're home and we're playing in our gym in front of our fans, so they're excited. Coach Davis and her Lady Muriders will take to the court twice this weekend. First on Friday night at 7 p.m., uh, first serve against Northwestern Oklahoma, and they'll turn around on Saturday and have a 1 p.m. first serve with Southwestern Oklahoma as well. So come out and support the Lady Muriders. Coach, best of luck this Thank weekend. Thank you.